Hello friends, this is Naneshwar Sanak working as an assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry at Maratha Vidya Prasarak Samaj Arts, Commerce and Science College, Dindori. In this lecture, we will learn about the combination of atomic orbitals. But before we start the actual topic, let us recapitulate what we learned in the last video lecture. In last video lecture, we will learn about the rules for the linear combination of atomic orbital that is LCA principle. Second one, different type of representation for the molecular orbital formation and third most important point is comparison between the bonding molecular orbital and antibonding molecular orbital. Let us start today's topic that is combination of different type of atomic orbital. But before start the actual topic, we have to understand about the different type of atomic orbital and their shapes. Let us see the shape of different atomic orbital. First one is S orbital. S orbital is spherical in nature. P orbital. P orbital having dumbbell shape along the x axis, along the y axis and along the z axis. Let us see the nature of axis. This is the x axis, the vertical line is y axis and whatever axis perpendicular to the screen that is called as z axis. That means at the time the two axis is in the one plane and one is perpendicular to other plane. The next type of orbital is d. d orbital having five types. First one is d x square minus y square orbital. Second one is d z square orbital. Third one is d x y orbital. Fourth one is d y z orbital. And fifth one is d x z orbital. In this case of d orbital, the lobe of orbitals in the x square minus y square orbital on the axis, for example, this is considered as an x axis and this is considered as an y axis. In case of dz square orbital, whatever orbital is on the z axis only. But in case of other three orbital that is dxy, dyz and dxz, the lobe of orbitals is in between the respective axis. That is, in case of dxy, the whatever lobe of orbital is in between of x axis and that of y axis. In case of y z orbital, the axis is y axis and this axis is z axis and whatever x axis is perpendicular to these two axis hypothetically. To understand the concept of this representation, let us come to the point of this orientation of axis. In this case, basically, on the screen, these two axes that is x axis and y axis are on the plane and z axis on the perpendicular way to these two axes. That means at the one time two axes in the one plane and one axis is perpendicular to two axes. In dx z orbitals the lobe of orbital is in between x axis and z axis and hypothetically y axis is perpendicular to that of screen. Let us start the different type of combination of atomic orbital. The first case is combination of S and S orbital. In this case, when the combination of same science wave functions of S orbital, it produces the bonding molecular orbital, that is formation of bonding molecular orbital. And when the combination of different sine wave function, it produces the anti-bonding molecular orbital which we see in the next. Let us see how it is possible. When combination of S orbital of first atom is combined with the S orbital of other atom in its valence shield, it results in formation of bonding molecular orbital. Let us see why. When first atomic orbital having same sign with respect to the second one or vice versa, it produces the constructive interface and it result in formation of bonding molecular orbital that is sigma bond. 
and whatever orbital is called as or whatever molecular orbital is called as sigma s bonding molecular orbital let us see the second case combination of opposite sign wave functions it produce the anti bonding molecular orbital or also called as formation of anti bonding molecular orbital let us see why when s atomic orbital of first atom is combined with the s atomic orbital of second atom but the wave function of both atoms or sign of wave functions of both atoms are different from each other it result in formation of destructive interface and that's why it produce the anti bonding molecular orbital that is also called as sigma s star orbital in case of anti bonding molecular orbital there is zero probability of finding the electron density in between the nucleus and that's why it produce the node at the center of two nucleus and whatever electron density is repelled from each others let us see the second case the combination of s orbital of one atom in its valence cell with the combination of px atomic orbital of other atom in its valence cell there is two cases of combination of s and px atomic orbital let us see one by one the first one is combination of same sign wave functions it produce the bonding molecular orbital or formation of bonding molecular orbital let us see with the diagrammatic representation when the one atom having s orbital in its valence shell combined with the p orbital or px orbital of second atom it produce the bonding molecular orbital that is sigma bonding molecular orbital and it denoted by the symbol sigma it also represent like this that is complete overlap between the two atomic orbitals but the one necessary condition during the combination of both atomic orbital is that the sign of wave functions of both atomic orbitals which undergoes the combination towards each others are same then and then it produce the bonding molecular orbital let us see the second case combination of opposite sign wave function it result the formation of anti bonding molecular orbital let us see the diagrammatic representation when one atom having s orbital in its valence shell is combined with the px orbital of other atom in its valence shell but the sign of wave functions of atomic orbital are different from each others during the combination it result in formation of anti bonding molecular orbitals in this case there is repulsion of electron density from each others and formation of the one node at the center and whatever orbital is denoted by sigma star symbol during the combination of s and px orbital along the axis joining the nucleus having opposite sign of wave functions then and then it produce the anti bonding molecular orbital otherwise when the wave functions of combining orbital that is s orbital and px orbital having same sign of wave function along the axis of joining the nucleus it produce the sigma bonding molecular orbital or bonding molecular orbital the third case of combination of atomic orbital is the combination of p atomic orbital of first atom with the combination of p atomic orbital with the second atom in its valence shell in this case basically two type of combination is possible that is both the p orbital lobes are pointing along the axis joining the nucleus and both the p orbital which having lobes perpendicular to the axis joining the nucleus it result in formation of sigma molecular orbital and pi molecular orbital respectively let us see the first case formation of sigma molecular orbital there are two possibility in case of sigma molecular orbital formation the first case is combination of same sign wave function it result in formation of bonding molecular orbital let us see the diagrammatic representation when first atom or one atom having px atomic orbital in its valence shell is combined with the 
px atomic orbital of other atom in its valence shell but the sine of flow function along the axis of joining the nucleus is the same then and then it produces the bonding molecular orbital and whatever electron density is concentrated in between the nucleus and that's why it produces the bonding molecular orbital in this case basically at this middle point whatever we see it is probability of maximum electron density between the two nucleus the second case is combination of opposite sign wave functions it produces the antibonding molecular orbitals let us see the diagrammatic representation when px atomic orbital of first atom in its valence shell is combined with the px atomic orbital of other atom in its valence shell but the sign of wave function are different from each others is denoted by color in this case basically this dark color is indicated the one sign and this hollow orbital shape is indicated the other sign let us consider this as a plus sign and this as a minus sign when this plus sign is attracted towards the minus sign wave function it resultant in formation of antibonding molecular orbital let us see the second case of combination of pp atomic orbitals which result in formation of pi molecular orbital in this case there are two cases first one is the combination of same sign wave function it result in formation of bonding molecular orbital let us see the diagrammatic representation in this case basically py atomic orbital of first atom in its valence shell is combined with the py atomic orbital of second atom in its valence shell but the approach of both atomic orbital from both atoms are perpendicular with respect to the axis of joining the nucleus but the orientation of both the orbitals are perpendicular with respect to the axis of joining the nucleus in first case of formation of sigma bonding molecular orbital whatever lobe of same sign wave functions of atomic orbitals are along the axis joining the nucleus but in this case whatever lobe of same sign wave function that is this as a plus and this as a minus wave function this as a plus and this as a minus wave function this both wave functions are perpendicular to the joining of internuclear axis whenever these two lobes are overlap laterally towards each other it produces the pi bonding molecular orbital and it represented generally like this in above side and at bottom side the probability of electron density is maximum let us see the second case in second case the combination of opposite sign wave function result in formation of anti bonding molecular orbital let us see the diagrammatic representation when py atomic orbital of one atom is combined with the py atomic orbital of other atom in its valence shell but the during the combination of both py atomic orbital the wave function sign is different from the each others it resultant formation of pi star atomic orbital in this case basically there is formation of one node between the two joining nucleus let us see why it happen in case of first atomic orbital the sign of wave function is positive for the darken side and negative for hollow side here darken side is positive wave function and here hollow side having negative wave function when different sign wave functions combines together they repel each other strongly and it produces the antibonding molecular orbital that is pi star orbital let us see the difference between the sigma bonding molecular orbital and pi bonding molecular orbital sigma bonding molecular orbital and here pi molecular orbital first the sigma molecular orbital is formed by the overlapping of atomic orbitals when the lobes along the internuclear line 
Similarly, the pi molecular orbital is formed by overlapping of atomic orbital, but the lobes of combining atomic orbitals are perpendicular to the line of internuclear axis. The second difference between the sigma and pi molecular orbital is that the electron density is concentrated in between the two nucleus in case of sigma bonding molecular orbital and the electron density is zero between the two nucleus in case of pi bonding molecular orbital. Third point is all the sigma molecular orbital are symmetrical about the internuclear axis. That means when we put the plane about the internuclear axis over the sigma bond, it having symmetrical in nature on the both side of mirror. But in case of pi molecular orbital, there is no symmetrical operation about the internuclear axis. The fourth point is all the sigma star molecular orbital are unsymmetrical about the internuclear axis. That means all the sigma antibonding molecular orbital are unsymmetrical about the internuclear axis. That means there is no symmetry in the antibonding molecular orbital of sigma bond. Similarly, all the pi antibonding molecular orbital are symmetrical in the nature. The next point is combination of p atomic orbital with the d atomic orbitals of other atoms in its valence shell. In this case basically, when combination of same sign wave function is take place, it produces the bonding molecular orbital. Let us see the diagrammatic representation. When py atomic orbital of one atom in its valence shell is combined with the dxy atomic orbital of other atom in its valence shell, it produces an bonding molecular orbital. Let us see how. In case of first atom, that is A atom, the py orbital having lobe with darkened side positive wave function and hollow side with negative wave function is combined with dxy atomic orbital of atom B in its valence shell. But the sign of wave functions of lobe is plus minus plus and minus respectively. When this plus wave function is combines towards or attracted towards the plus wave function, similarly this minus wave functions is attracted towards the minus wave function, it resultant in formation of bonding molecular orbital. Second case is combination of opposite sign wave function. It resultant in formation of anti-bonding molecular orbital. Let us see the example. When py atomic orbital of one atom in its valence shield is combined with the dxy atomic orbital of other atom in its valence shield, it result in formation of anti-bonding molecular orbital. But the necessary condition is that the sign of wave functions of combination are different from each others. There is one mistake for the color combination from my side. Let us consider this darkened side as a negative one. This one is positive one. When positive sign wave functions and negative sign wave functions comes toward each other, they repel to each other. Similarly, here also they repel to each others and it produces the node here now and formation of pi star antibonding orbital. Here, color combination is correct one. Please consider this color as an hollow color. And this is an darkened color. Next one is combination of D atomic orbital with the D atomic orbital of other atoms. The first case is combination of same sign wave function. It result in formation of bonding molecular orbital. Let us see with the diagrammatic representation. When first atom, that is A atom, in its valence shell having this atomic orbital and B having this atomic orbital, this is called as dx square minus y square atomic orbital and this is called as dx square minus y square atomic orbital. When they combine together, it produces an bonding molecular orbital. Let us see how. This and this combines together. Similarly, this and this combines together. 
similarly from back side this and this combines together and from back side this and this combines together whenever the same sine wave function combines together it produces the bonding molecular orbital that's why this representation shows that there is maximum electron density from this side and this side as well as this side and this side the last point in the theoretical concept is non bonding combination of atomic orbitals let us see one by one combination of s orbital with the py orbital and combination of s orbital with the pz orbital let us see the diagrammatic representation when s orbital of one atom is combined with the py orbital of other atom is not possible because whatever s orbital when pointing towards the py orbital that time the wave functions of both atomic orbitals are not match at all and that's why it not produce the bonding molecular orbital similarly when s orbital of one atom is combined with the pz orbital of other atom in this case whatever wave functions that means positive positive and this negative one are not pointing towards each other or are not pointing along the axis of joining the nucleus and that's why it not produce the bonding molecular orbital the second case is combination of px atomic orbital with py and px atomic orbital with pz when the first atom having px atomic orbital in its valence shell is pointing toward the py atomic orbital of other atom that time there is no formation of bonding because whatever wave function or similar sign wave function that is positive positive or negative negative not lie along the axis of joining and that's why it not produce the bonding second case is when px atomic orbital of one atom is not combined with the pz atomic orbital of other atom because the wave function of both atomic orbitals are not along the internuclear axis of joining and that's why this combination also not possible